Hey there, what's happening amazing Forex traders? I know I've been away for a while, but guess what guys, I'm back. Now the reason I've been away for a while, as most of you guys already know, is the fact that the market has just been moving sideways. I remember coming on here two weeks ago and telling you guys, this is the trade I'm placing. Until this market gets to its target, desired target, I will be doing nothing. But the problem is a lot of traders struggle with this. I know the last two weeks have been hell. I know. Why? Because I can see it. I can, from the Telegram group, I can read the traders' emotions. I know. Because anytime the market is going sideways or is, is, doesn't, isn't going in the direction that most traders want it to go, they tend to panic getting in and out of trades and all that. And I'm not here to scold anybody or get angry with you guys. I understand. That was me many years ago as well. But please, please, I come on here to urge you guys that it is more profitable to place your trades and hold them than for you to be going in and out of trades. Forex mastery students, you know this better than anybody. You know this. I placed one euro USD trade. I'm still in the trade till now. Most of you guys have gone in, gone out, gone in, gone out, gone in, gone out, and then your accounts are blown. I still have mine. Still intact. My trade is still intact. Okay? Most Forex mastery students, I know that you guys placed your trades and held them, and I'm super proud of you guys. But I noticed on the Telegram group is traders who haven't taken the course that were jumping in and out of the trades. And it's completely understandable because due to lack of education and due to lack of guidance. So guys, I want to use this opportunity to once again remind you guys that the market will only be rational 40% of the time. The remaining 60% of the time, it acts mad. So this is exactly why you need to be able to see into the future as much as possible. You need to be able to have some form of a guidance, okay? Light at the end of the tunnel. And that's what the top-down analysis does for you guys. It shows you guys where exactly the market is going. All you need to do is place and relax. As I teach on the Forex Mastery course, students, you guys are here, you guys know this. We see where the market is going. Just place and relax. Because one thing about the market is, it's not gonna go in a straight line. It's going to go up, come down, go up, come down, sideways, come down, right, before it eventually gets to where it's going to. So if you're the kind of trader who doesn't understand price action analysis, top-down analysis, who hasn't taken the Forex Mastery course, you're pretty much going into the market blind. Well, that's the truth. Because for somebody like me, I know where the market is going. So all I need to do is place my trades and chill. So once again, I want to use this opportunity to console you guys that have lost a lot of money in the last two weeks. I understand, but please let this be a lesson, okay? Let this be a lesson to you guys. Do your top-down analysis the way it should be done. Place your trades and hold on to them. They will eventually give you what you're looking for, okay? So for those of you guys who haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery course, please do for your own benefit. It is so cheap. It comes... The, the, your fees those doesn't doesn't change my life but the information in there will change your life so ensure to grab it the link is going to be down below as always guys do yourself a freaking favor i'm tired of the telegram messages sir i just ran into trouble sir i ran away from home I just lost 40 million naira, which is about $80,000. Sir, I, I'm like, what happened? Sir, I don't know what happened. I was trading just fine. The market just went did this. And then, uh, guys, I'm tired of those messages. Please educate yourself. Do the right thing. Place and hold. Top-down analysis, place and hold. I'm going to be jumping into my screen right about now. We're going to discuss some charts as well. But I just thought I'd come on here and once again console you guys and tell you guys that there's definitely hope at the end of the tunnel. There's light at the end of the tunnel. You just need to follow the rules of Forex. Analyze on higher time frames, scale down to lower time frame, and trade in that direction and hold the trade and you're going to be just fine. So guys, that being said, let's jump into my charts um, and let's see what we have cooking for today. Um, so guys, today well, let's kick things off with the euro. The euro is the elephant in the room at the moment. Let's act exactly 
um, let's let's have a look. Let's examine what exactly is going on in the euro at the moment, and then we can look at other pairs to actually identify what exactly happened last week, what's been happening, why traders have been losing a lot of money and stuff like that. Now, guys, you have to understand that um, the euro. If we go back to early on in the year when you know we were expecting the euro to rally all the all the way to the upside, that didn't happen. Instead, we you know pitched lower. And once we pitched lower, um, it was almost looking like a trend reversal, but something in me still kind of felt like the euro had more upside potential. So um, when I eventually zoomed out again, I found out that the euro was actually pulling back to test the third touch of the trend line. This is what exactly the euro wanted to come and do. It wanted to come touch, to touch this, just this, this, this. This trend line, this freaking trend line. So all the buy trades were trying to push, you trying to use it, push the market up. The market wasn't just ready to go. And this should be a lesson to you guys. I want you guys to learn something from this. Sometimes it's not good to fight the market because the market probably just has some technical levels it wants to fulfill. Do you get what I mean? Like the market just has some technical levels it wants to fulfill. Period. Okay, so. You just can't force the market if it's not doing exactly what you want it to do. Just leave the market alone, please. Okay, you can always come back the next day or a week later to have a look at what exactly is happening. Anyways, we bounced out of here. Now, once we bounced out of here and then the market came above this region about here, I was so certain. And not only did we come above, we came closed above, formed a base and started pointing to the upside. I love this formation. This is one of my favorite formations, one of my favorite confirmations that the market indeed wants to comply with what exactly I wanted to do. So we did come in here and then we started to um, we started to push all the way to the upside. However, I still wasn't sure that indeed the market wanted to do what exactly I thought it wanted to do because there was this trend line somewhere about here. At the time, we were still trading below this trend line. Okay. And uh, this trend line could have easily pushed this market down, at least maybe back into the trend line again, or probably even for further downside. We were not sure. So what happened was uh, this trend line rejected the market. It came in here and formed the base. So these two were fighting each other, but the base won. Okay. So now the base has won. I see bullish engulfing candle two, a bullish engulfing candle. There's two bullish engulfing candles. We come back, test the outer part of the trend line. And we now start pushing up again so what this tells me and when i preach price action a lot of you are like well price action this is a price action is nothing more than just looking and just understanding what exactly is happening okay what exactly is the market what what clues is the market telling me we've come to form a base we've broken out of here the only thing that was disturbing us from heading higher not only did we break above we broke above came to sit on, on top of his head and we put in another bullish engulfing daily candle. This is exactly where my entries are, right about here. And I told you guys my stop losses are somewhere down here. Okay, so moving forward, this market gave us some handsome pips, beautiful looking pips. It was beautiful. It was nice. It looked really nice. Okay, and then what happened the next day? Red, green. So you see all these blue, red. It's not blue green red green red this is all sideways movement so i have one two three four five six seven days so this is a whole week of sideways movement now you have to understand that i me placing my trade here my overall targets are here and here so anything that happens between here and here and here i don't really care it's none of my concern. My stop losses are here. So for me, two things are going to happen. It's either we get here or we come and stop me out. But anything in between, I don't really bother myself because I've placed my trade and I'm going to allow the market breathe. Okay. And the upside about following my strategy or rather my style is peace of mind. Peace of mind and you don't get to blow your accounts because look at this was up, this was down. So traders bought, started coming down. This, this okay, it's time to start selling. Oh no no no! Next day let's start with buying. No 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 no! Sorry sorry, let's start selling. No 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 no! It's going up. Buy. Oh yes, it's time to go up. Yeah, let's buy. Buy some more. Then come down. Bam! Stop loss. And then 
those that have bought it, like, okay, let's hold this time. This time, let's hold. And then the market goes and then, shh, this week, deadly. And then what happens? The market starts to go up again. So, <laughs> so in order to prevent yourself from all this higgy haga, oh my goodness, my mouse is frozen. Give me a sec, guys. Let me get my mouse back. You know me, I have a love and hate relationship with my mouse. It always acts up sometimes. Anyway, so we're back. So what was actually happening in hindsight is this. So if I delete this, what was happening is the market was actually, if I draw an inner trend line, right? You will see that there's actually an inner trend line that's forming right about so. And what was actually happening is the market is just coming to test, test. It wanted to, all the market wanted to do move sideways and test, test this bad boy here. Also, don't forget this was some form of a resistance because of this level this market couldn't head higher so this is a minor resistance so we have broken above it and best believe the market must come and form a base on top of it before so what was actually happening in hindsight is the market was just coming to fulfill technical levels that's it the market was just coming to fulfill technical levels and sometimes when I tell you guys that the market is not cooperating, it's not cooperating because it, it wants to fulfill technical levels that you and I just cannot see at that moment. So the best approach is to leave it for that. Guys, if you haven't gotten the Forex Mastery program, you need to get it. You actually need to get it because it would help you detach your emotions from all this shit that is happening. This is the overall, this is the overall outlook of the market. It's coming here. And then here. So, you know, this is exactly how you need to program your mind. My stop loss. So, guys, I was in profit, small profit, more profit, small profit, more profit, more profit. Profit got taken away. And then actually the market dipped back into my entries. And I was back in negative for a very short period of time. But I was. But I'm not going to do anything because I know my end goal is here. So I want to use, you see, the reason for this technical and um, this Trader Talk Tuesdays is to show you guys behind the scenes as to how to trade profitably, like all the emotions that go in so that you can take this and you can learn. You can take this and you can learn and you can be like, okay, if this happens again, all I need to do is just relax. Most of the time, all you guys need to do is just fucking relax, mate. Okay, not to say that this trade is going to be a winning trade. But think about it, guys. Traders have buy, sell. So some traders between this candle and this candle at the moment, some traders have placed seven to eight trades. They've lost eight times. I have only placed once. So even if it's going to stop me out, best believe I'm only going to get stopped out for a little bit 3% loss. But traders who have placed eight trades, they're already down minus 24%. That's if they stuck to their risk management strategy. If some accounts got blown out, got, got taken out. And guys, for me, it just looks like just seven candles or eight candles. That's all. That's all. But for most people, it looks like a hectic week. For me, it just looks like candles. <laughs> it just looks like candles. This is why I keep Forex Mastery students, you know this. This is just nothing but candles. But for some traders, they're like, oh my God, it's gone up. Oh my God, should I hold on to Euro? Should I hold on to the Euro? Shut the fuck up and close your damn screen. Close it and go and do other things. Okay? I'm joking, guys. and I'm not telling you guys, shut the fuck up. I'm just telling you guys, just chill. Okay, so... Last but not the least, the euro, I'm anticipating further upside at 1.23297. If we break here, we're coming here ultimately, yeah? And I see a lot of you guys um, keep watching. A lot, uh, I know you guys watch other YouTubers that talk about Forex, about flipping accounts. This guy flip. I see on the Telegram, this guy flipped his account from this to this. Guys, they only show you when they win. They don't show you when they lose. So when they flip it once, they only they show you. But do you know how many blown accounts they had to blow to flip one account? They don't show you this stuff. Okay, I come on here and I'm as transparent as possible. I'm showing you this is the trade I am in. If this trade turns around and stops me out, best believe I have lost money. 
If it goes in my favor, I have made money. Forget about those guys. Say, oh, this is how I flip my account. It's at your own peril. At your own, just do do whatever it is you want to do. But as far as I'm concerned, this is the most realistic way to what trade the forex market. So, guys, the Euro USD in a nutshell is gonna come on here. So simple, so straightforward. As if you if you doubt me, just come on the monthly time frame. You see, sorry, weekly is better. Come on, weekly time frame. Yes yes this is it this is it. if i delete this this is it sometimes i only look at the weekly candles as long as this weekly candle did not close as a bearish engulfing candle last week i knew we still had hope to the upside so we're just gonna watch it and allow the market do its thing don't forget one excuse me my mouse is acting up again one touch i'll take it again okay one touch two touch third touch Always, once you do your analysis on higher time frames, you trade with a lot more confidence. Third touch of the trend line, bounce out of here. I'm more confident getting into any trade because I know for a fact this market is actually gonna. I feel will actually. The, the, I feel the dollar is quite weak at the moment. I feel we're gonna come in here and possibly even break out to the upside. I feel personally, okay. Um, so I'm just gonna be watching out for the euro. Now let's go over to AUD USD briefly. The AUD USD at the moment is moving sideways. Um, not much has been going on on the AUD USD, as you can see. People trying to buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. The market goes in their favor for a little bit. They are thanking God. Next thing, they open their chart. It's strange. For me, it looks like a box. Some people, it looks like a nightmare. <laughs> this looks like a box to me. Some people, it looks like a freaking nightmare. Uh, let's look at GBP USD. I think it's GBP USD has formed a double top at the moment. Um, I'm going to be watching GBP for candle formations around here. Um, most I feel GBP USD actually wants to break higher, so I'm going to be watching this. Once we break higher, I'm going to be looking for buy opportunities outside of this region at the moment. Um, let me delete this. Um, at the moment, GBP USD is hanging on to this resistance bar for dear life. So that's AUD USD, GBP USD. So another pair that's actually quite interesting to me is Euro JPY. Euro JPY is actually heading for next level targets 1.37.43. Why didn't I call this trade earlier? I'll tell you why I didn't call this trade earlier because we had this resistance that was looking like a freaking. It's just annoying me. Okay. So for Euro JPY, what I have in front of me is I have space. If I look to the left, I have space between 1.32 and 1.37. So give or take, I'm looking at about roughly 500 pips. All I need to do in this situation is I'm just going to wait for a little sideways movement, hop onto a four hour time frame, jump on the buy trade. I know for a fact that Euro JPY is going to come here. I know almost for a fact that what Euro JPY is going to come next level targets 1.37433. Yes, I know this for a fact. I see no reason why we shouldn't get there. Oops, wait, let me draw another trend line, you know. Before we can say for a fact, let us make sure that all evil spirits have been taken away. Yes, evil spirit trend line is not in our way. We have broken that as well. Next level target for Euro JPY 137.43. I think what's going to happen for this, we might form a base, might. So I'm just watching it, okay? This market is quite linear at the moment. We will definitely consolidate to sideways for a bit. But next level target, I can... So, guys, this is what... This is the advantages of the Forex Mastery Program. Look, this is it. Top, bottom. We're inside here. We're coming here. All I need to do is look for a trading opportunity inside here. And I'm going to hold... So I'm going to be revisiting Euro JPY sometime next week. I'm going to watch what exactly happens. Um, USD JPY might be the catalyst to bring this down a little bit so, so that we can... Um, USD JPY is, in a, is a mess. I haven't traded this pair in maybe five years now. The pair just annoys me. Excuse me, guys. The pair just annoys me. So yes, Euro JPY. For those of you guys who are long Euro JPY, fantastic move. Um, I feel obviously I know for a fact 1.37. How do I know this? All you need to do is look left. The market is going to show you everything you need to know. This mouse, this mouse, this mouse. You're going to you want to frustrate me. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> My mouse has days. 
okay how do i know it's gonna come here just look next level target here and this is one of the touches of the trend line simple easy straightforward this is why it's good to allow the market breathe let it do its thing sometimes because when it does this thing it eventually comes back down it eventually comes back down to show you you know, gives you a clear path, a clear runway. Okay, so guys, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Euro USD, we're heading for the upside, all guns blazing. Euro JPY next level target 137.433. Gold at the moment, I'm is a bit confusing, so I'm gonna give you another week, and then next week we shall revisit gold. So, guys, hope I've been able to explain to you guys the essence of chilling, the essence of higher time frame trading, essence of looking at things from a higher time frame perspective. And once again, I want to apologize, not really apologize to you guys, but console you guys. For those of you guys who lost a lot of money in the last two weeks, do yourself a favor and grab the mastery program so that you don't have to keep battling all these damn losses. AUD USD sideways movement, GBP USD double top at the moment, looking for it to break current resistance. Euro USD, I am still long. I only have one trade open at the moment, which is Euro USD. Until Euro USD gives me some form of, you know, I need some significant amount of pips, I will be moving my stop loss to break even. Then I will be getting into another trade. The trade I will most likely be getting into, in addition to Euro USD, might be Euro JPY. It looks pretty, pretty juicy. All right, guys, that's it for me at the moment. Let me take you to my other screen. I have a little message for you guys. Love you guys, and I'll catch you guys on my other screen and subsequent videos. Take it easy, and see you soon. All right, my people, thank you for staying till the very end of today's version of Trader Talk. I hope I've been able to remind you guys, not just, you know, my teachings on here is not just to necessarily show how good of a trader I am. The reason why I do this Trader Talk is not just to come and show off, it's to come and remind you guys, especially my students, because I, I love you guys very much, especially my students, to teach you guys that, yo, listen, to remind you guys that it's more profitable to trade and hold and if you don't understand what is going on it is okay to leave the charts alone and come back when you can understand what is happening so guys thank you for staying to the very end if you found this video helpful drop me a comment down below it helps the channel grow subscribe to this channel and if you haven't already got in the forex mastery course the link is going to be down there as below as always all right guys take it easy and peace out